Today we're going to learn how to twist an object. So let me clean everything, the light, the camera, go to geometry node. I'm going to close this and close this and create a new profile. I'm going to work with the cube, but I want the cube node. So let me delete this and press shift A, cube. Why do that? Because I have more control here. So let me connect that and I'm going to put more resolution and increase the size. Perfect. So what I want is to twist this cube in the z-axis. So something like that. Okay, to do that, we need to change the position because we have the position of all the vertices, all the points. We want to twist these points. So let me put a bit less, for example, something like that. We need to change the position of these points. So to do that, we're going to use a set position. And now we need to connect in the position because we want to change the position, not offset. We want to change. We're going to use a vector rotate. This node, as the name says, is rotating the position of the vectors. Now it disappeared because we need a reference here. So we need to put the position node. So we are using the original position and we need to change something here. Now, if we click here, you can see that it's rotating the Z axis. Why? Because here the Z have one. If I put zero and I click here, nothing happens. For example, if I put one in the X, now it's rotating in the X axis. And if you want to do it in the Y, just put one here. Okay, perfect. But to make it easier, because this is a bit confusing, it's easier if you click here and select which axis do you want it rotates. I'm going to select Z because I want to create this twist animation. So now, if we click here, we are rotating everything, but we don't want that, we want to twist it. So how we do that? We need to put another reference, like position, so let me duplicate this and connect it, and now it's doing something. However, it looks weird, right? Because it's doing this in all the axes. Because these have the position and have the axis X, Y, Z. So we need to separate and say, I want only separate, I want only the Z axis. So let's connect Z, Z, because we have Z and Z. And now we have this twist. So basically, we are taking the position, the original position, and the other original position, only Z, and we are rotating this axis. If you want more resolution, let me increase this, something like that. Okay, but now we cannot change this. So we are going to put here a multiply math, and let's put it in multiply because we want to control the twist. If we put zero, nothing happens. It's like this, this is the same. But if we increase this, we are twisting in z-axis, because we have z-axis and z-axis, this cube. So we can create a lot of spins. If you want to do it in another axis, for example, in the x, we need to select x and here connect x. So now it's doing the same in the x-axis. And if you want the Y, just put Y and connect Y. I'm going to use the Z. So you can twist it like that. And if you want to rotate it, what you can do is just duplicate this and put it in add. And just select this to create this animation. So now you know how to twist any object. For example, if we put a monkey. Let me drag the Susan here. Now we are using the Susan, and you can see that we are twisting also this object. If I put this zero, it's normal, and if we increase this, it's getting twist from the center, remember, because here we have zero. If you change this, you will notice that now it's twisting the object from a different point, because we're changing the center where it's being rotated. Going to leave it zero, 
And you can see that you can create this effect really easy. I'm going to use another example, like a grid. Let me increase this, for example, something like that. And let me put this in zero. And this in zero. OK, we have this. And let's twist it. So now we want to twist the y axis because we don't have z. So I'm going to change this in y and this in y. So now if I increase this, I'm twisting this object. However, it doesn't have too much vertices. So let's put more and we can create this effect. And if you want to animate it, just move this. So now you know how to twist any object in any axis. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So see you next video.